What's up, my people? So getting into today's episode, boy, a lot happened today. Let's start with Xander and Teresa. Yo, Xander set that ass straight today. He sure did. He was not playing no games with her. Because first of all, she she's still at that airport. She thinking she about to get away. But Xander's like, oh, were you not expecting me? Um, you should have known I was cut. This was coming. Then Teresa's like, "What do you want? What do you want, Xander?" And Xander's like, "You really thought you were just gonna get away with stealing my my inherit my inheritance like that? Like, have you lost your ever loving mind?" And she's like, and then she just wants to justify her BS. He's not trying to hear that. And talk about he's like, "Really? You really hate me that much?" And then she's like, "Yep, I hate you." like that and then some and he said you know you know what you are you are something else you're a vicious vicious viper and then he was just calling he's just ripping into her and he she she was talking about he didn't deserve it i'm like you don't deserve nothing and then Xander put the two and two together about her. He finally figured out that she's the one that kidnapped Victoria. So, but you were the accom accomplice. And then she was like, no, all Constantine knew was um, that I, I forged the signature. He didn't, I, I, never took, I never took Victoria. And he's like, yeah, right, yeah, you're going down. But no, you have no proof against against me. He's like Xander's like at this at this point, Constantine was your accomplice. You're the real mastermind of all this. You are truly despicable. And then she was like, she really she thought her her flight was going, and she's like, well, you can't you can't hide from me. And then she's like, you really thought you're gonna just get away? He's like, then she brought up. Talk about just like how you thought you were going to get away with Bonnie and EJ's mother. And Xander's like, you know what? I've admitted to all my crimes. But, I, but I'm glad that you know what I'm capable of. Because whether... And that was before I had unlimited resources. So... They, go, go to New York or go wherever. Because um, there's no place that you can go that will run from me. She was like, oh shit. She had a look on her face, especially when he grabbed her, because she deserved it. She deserved every single second of that. I loved it. I was like, go Xander, get your money, get your revenge. Now, moving on from them for now, let's talk about EJ and Eric. Eric came up in there. I'm not going to lie, Eric ain't, ain't a little dude. He's not, he's not small. He was like, he was looking like very almost up there, similar size to EJ. I thought Eric looked like he could knock EJ out at any moment. I'm like, damn, Eric! I didn't know he was built. He was built like that. I thought he was like kind of a short thing. Mm -mm. He's Eric. When standing right next to EJ, he looked looked mighty strong. I'm like, EJ, you keep you keep messing around with him. Eric might knock your ass out. But Eric is not feeling. He's like, he's like, where's those divorce papers? Sign the damn papers, EJ. And EJ's like, why would I do that? I don't know. Then talk about. And Eric said, well, even if you stall this divorce for as long as you want, um, it's not gonna, it's not gonna change, change anything. You're not gonna. She'll never come back to you. He said, maybe not, but I can make her miserable in the meantime. <laughs> That was funny. I'm like, um, and then she, she, EJ said he's going to do everything in his power to make Eric's life miserable, including potentially pressing charges against his mother for slapping him. And talk about, you can't throw her in jail for slapping you. It's the least what you deserve. And he said, he said, you know what? She said the same thing, but I could find other ways to make you suffer. Like, does Holly know? That you killed her father? No, but, but Holly knows that a drunk driver killed his father, her father, but did she ever know that it was you? And 
Eric's like, don't you dare do that to her. She's been through enough. I know you hate me, you hate Nicole, but Holly is innocent. She's never done anything to you. And he's like, you know what? Yeah, maybe I, I won't tell her. I'm like, absolutely. But he should tell her. Or, or Eric and Nicole should tell her. That is Holly's right to know. That was Holly's father. Eric's the one that chose to be drinking and driving. So he deserves to face the consequences. I think that's a coward move on Eric's part. It's a very coward move. Like, you were drinking and driving. That was that girl's father that she never got to meet because of you. And yet, yet you want to step up. You claim to be some sort of surrogate father for her, but you killed her, her father. And she has every right to know that. I don't even like Holly, but I know that that is BS for Nicole and Eric to just cover that up like no big deal. No. Holly deserves justice, and Holly deserves the truth. However, way she can, just because Maggie chose to forgive Eric, that's Maggie's choice. Holly ha is allowed to have a mind of her own at this point and deserves to know. So I thought, so I definitely think that Eric is out of pocket and he should be telling Holly ASAP. But um, he stormed off after that. But moving on from them temporarily, let's talk about that dickhead Alex and Sarah to that. Yo, Alex is still a bitter little bitch. I don't fuck with him. I will never fuck with him. He's a fucking asshole. Okay? Just flat out simple. That is what Alex is. Like, he's still talking about, oh, I don't feel bad for Xander. He, as far as I'm concerned, he got the better end of the deal. And he wanna, he wanna go, oh, woe was me. Yeah, because the way I treated my real dad, Justin, and... Yeah, and everything. Now my life is just turned upside down again. And it's not just, not just, oh, uh, oh yeah, because I knew that Victor lied to me. But, yeah, but I just really wanted to embrace it. Like, yeah, just, like the money was nice and everything. Oh, please, that was the only reason why you were all ha happy about accepting Victor lying to you is because you had billions of dollars out of it. But now nothing's changed. You were still already a grown-ass man, and that money was never yours to begin with. But yet you want to still throw insults at Xander's way? Fuck out of here with that. Um, Sarah is much nicer than me. Because I wouldn't want off on him. And talk about, because she's, she's like, come on, no, Xander got the worst end of the deal. Because you know Victor treated, treated Xander like absolute crap. He would give him affection every now and again. But when he was alive, he made his, his mission pretty much to treat Xander like he's completely unlovable. Alex said, well, maybe it's true. That's, that's probably because it's true. That, he said it just like that. I'm like, what a prick. And then he's like, you know what? Yeah, it's not, I guess, but you know what? To be honest, if I'm being honest, it's not, it's not your fault. And it's not even, um, it's not even Xander's fault. This is all Teresa's fault. Now, it's your fault too, Alex, because you're a prick that didn't want to listen. So, Alex deserves every single bit of what he's getting on um, that humiliation. If I was Xander, I would humiliate Alex like no tomorrow. Every chance I get. Oof. That is just one douchebag of a character. I don't even see redemption in him at this point. I really don't. He, I think we'd be better off if Alex just left town and never came back. Or boom. Or runs in front of a bomb. But... If, you, if any one of y'all like Alex, please let me know in the comment section. But moving on from that douchebag for now, let's talk about the four, Brady and Fiona. Um, Fiona was looking gorgeous, like always. Yeah, I like this woman. From the moment she walked up in that wedding, I knew I liked this woman. And today did not disappoint because Fiona has standards, y'all. She got standards. She did not sleep. She did not have sex with Brady. They slept in the same bed, but they didn't have sex. Praise God. Whew. Because Fiona is way too much woman for Brady to handle. Okay? You leave Fiona to the professionals. Brady just needs to go somewhere. All right. 
That's what Brady just needed there. Um, but she it revealed that she's Xander's mother. And Brady was freaked out about that because of his history with Xander. Xander did put a bullet in him, so, you know. Yeah. There's tension right there. That will always be there. But they still, they still, um, they, it was open ended though, so maybe their friendship will continue. But Brady should always just be friend zoned. And then Fiona, Sarah, Fiona bumped into Sarah. No, Sarah came to visit Fiona, actually, I think. And she wanted to give an invite to the wedding. And Fiona's like, I don't know if that's a good idea because I don't think Xander should be getting married right now. In other words, Fiona want to get her hands on that money. Okay? I, I, I spot Fiona from a mile away. She want to get her hands on that money. So she's like, uh-uh. She don't want to share that money with Sarah. She's like... So Sarah's like, huh? Well, Sarah, that's who you wanted to bring to town so badly. Which I'm, I'm grateful for because I love this actress. But, hey, you want, be careful what you ask for. Now she's going to do everything in her power to break up you and Xander. Oh, well. And then, but moving on from them, let's talk about Eric and Nicole again. So Eric and Nicole wanted to, um, They want to move. They still want to. Eric still wants to move to Paris. Um, he can still get that job there. Nicole was down with that, but Holly ain't so hot. Ain't so ain't so down with that. She was mad because after she, she and Tate had like a long date, an exclusive, exclusively long date, too long for my liking, but. Um, after she was done with her shift because she needed to get Sophia her money. But Holly's like, absolutely not. We're not leaving. I'm not leaving Salem. Little girl, you're going to go. You go where I go. You think I care about your feelings? That's what Nicole should have said. Outside of just the whole Eric thing, Eric killing your daddy. But you know what? Fine. Holly wants to stay with Maggie. There you go. That's probably where that's going to lead to. But, ugh. I'm like, but Tate figured it out today. Tate learned that hit what his mother did. And Brady knows what Teresa did too. So, they were feeling some type of way about that. Of course, but it's Wig Risa. And then the final scene of this episode was Brady telling Alex that Teresa just ha has no, she's probably never going to be seen again because she has no conscience. She has no, no soul. So she, we'll, we'll probably never see her. But then Teresa walked in the door and said, you're wrong about that. You're wrong. You're wrong, Brady. And then there she is. Because in reality, what Xander said in earlier is what stuck to her. Because he, she knows that he meant business. Oh, and EJ put out a warrant for Teresa's arrest. He agreed to do that. Even though he wanted to punish Nicole by keeping Teresa free. But he's going to uphold the law. And he put out a warrant immediately for the kidnapping. So, yeah. Like I said, this was a very good episode, though. It was um, a night, like a lot, lot happened in that 37 minutes. I'm like, wow. Lots and lots and lots of movement. Lots of characters, but everybody at least had a purpose. Arguably, except for Holly and Tate. It's a little date thing, but even that served the purpose, though. So, I'm, I'm happy with today's episode. But let me know what y'all thought about this episode in the comment section below. Hit that like button. Um, comment. Com and um, share this video if you can. That really does help keep this momentum growing. But I will see you all in my live stream, special time, 8 p.m. Eastern, where I'll be collabing with 
with someone. So be on the lookout for that, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.